once again you're welcome to our channel today we shall be discussing on how to calculate the y bar of a beam crock section now let's read through the following question calculate the second moment of area i of a beam cross section drawn below first of all evaluate the y bar the y bar is a distance from the centroid of the whole cross section of the beam now in order for us to calculate our y bar which is a distance to the cross section of the centroid of this particular i section beam which we can deduce to be somewhere here which is y bar how do we calculate it first of all we are given all the parameters that is the length the wide and the depth of all section of the i section beam knowing fully well that this beam have a shape of high so we call it i section beam now in order for us to calculate the y bar first of all we separate the area of each section we have area one area two area three which has been given area one area two area three now first of all we calculate the y in millimeter which you're given how do we calculate our y for the section one we had the depth of the third section to the depth of the second to the half of the depth of the top that gives us 97.5 how do we calculate the y of section area 2 which is the one given below we had the depth of the of the third to the half of the depth of the second which is we can call it web they call it web that gives us 55 also how do we calculate the the y for the section 3 we divide the depth of the third that gives us 10 now the next thing on the second column to find is the area how do we calculate the area we multiply the depth by the by the wide of each section so our section 1 which is 90 mm multiplied by 15 mm that gives us this also our our second area of the of the, of the web that gives us 70 multiplied by 10 that gives us 700 the same thing 20 multiplied by 1 for that gives us 2800 now the next thing on the next column is how to calculate the product of a multiplied by y so we multiply our y to the each area of the section that gives us 131625385028000 that one is done so the next thing is to add the summation of all the column so the submission of the area column that gives us 48500. The submission of the AY column that gives us 198125. So, in order for us to calculate our Y bar, our Y bar formula equals the summation of AY, that is the summation of the product of area of the cross section and the, and, the, and the Y in millimeter over the summation of the area. So that gives us 198125 over 4850. So our Y bar, which is a distance, which is a reference distance from the centroid vertically, give us 40.85 mm. Thank you.